huge fight in her career, and it happens right now in front of a capacity crowd. There have been a lot of expectations placed upon this young lady, and largely, given her well-rounded skill set, she has lived up to all of that immensely. We didn't know what to expect when she made her debut, but she showed such a well-rounded skill set that you immediately start going, wow, this girl's got a ton of potential. She has exceeded our expectations, but right now, she has got to step up once again if she wants to continue her assault on her division. She's well-rounded, but she's got a tough opponent in front of her. But like if my daughters could be as good at any one thing as this woman is, at all of these skills, and I say that with respect, they might actually turn out to be so. Here is tonight's tale of the tape. Here once more is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Kayla Harris. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Norma the Immortal Dumont. Herb Dean, our third man in the octagon for this one. All right, here we go with round one, and you can expect she's going to go to the body early. She's got some of the best kicks in the game. Attempt without issue. Huge knee lands from the post. She gets to the single call time. Look for her to try to move her opponent to find openings to land uppercuts and shots right at the middle. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Three minutes. Straight right lands. Let it go now. Keep your hands up. Now she whips out the straight right hand. Big shot to the head. Takedown defense is there. Uppercut lands. Oh, she's got a roundhouse kick in the Arsenal DC, and she put it to good use there. I mean, landed that kick beautifully. The only reason she didn't spin all the way around is 
and her opponent's body stopped it because she landed with so much force. Come on, don't stand still. Keep going. Well, she went to the straight left, unable to connect them. Great commitment to the strike. What a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out, but opponent still stands. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing her. Separate from her opponent. Both of them landed there. Nice combination on the feet, and now works it to a takedown. All right, half guard position for her here, and this is a spot where we've seen her have a lot of wild success in previous fights. She has a tremendous amount of success with this position because she's so knowledgeable. She keeps the right side underhook, and she just goes to work with that left arm. She's posting and elbowing. She's building her posture and punching. There are just so many different ways for her to score strikes from this position. Making all these shots count. Round two straight ahead. Hey, stop. All right, great round it was. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, a lot for the replay guys to choose from. But, John, it's going to be mostly kicks. Right. She landed them over and over again, found her target, locked in on it, and drove her shin right through her opponent's body. That was a great display of kicking in the UFC. You ready to fight? Ready. Here Go we on. are, early round two. This round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Nice jab there by Dumont. Well, she seems to be moving okay, but her calf has started to show some real damage. You can tell every time she gets hit in that spot, you see a big reaction. She's got to do something different. Oh, nice double leg, yes. And now she's in mount. She's setting up an arm bar. Oh, she's got the arm. She's got it isolated, John. She's so smart, John. She maintained position over submission. That's rule number one. DC, I know you got my back. She's got her back, and she could do a lot of damage from here. I've got your back, as, and I'm your boy, J.A. She's got her back as if she wants to end her night right now. She's got to be very careful. In the half guard. Good job by her here to land some strikes from top position. Man, she has done her homework. Another ground strike gets through. All right, so the ladies make their way back to the feet. Nice job by her there. And the crowd is just lapping it up. Yeah, they're loving her willingness to fight to get back to her feet. She never accepted being on the bottom. So even though it was difficult, she got it done. And now she looks to impose herself on her opponent. Mm, that was nice. Nice shot landed from the bottom. Oh, for attack. Yep. Oh, she might have that locked in. Oh, she got out. How good is that? She's stepping over the mount here. Well, submission offense is somewhat of a lost art in modern day MMA, but she knows what she's doing, and yet the defensive fighter continues to thwart her. Especially off your back. She's so good off of her back that she's given herself a chance with the submission. But her opponent is so gifted defensively. She's so responsible. She's doing a great job of just staying safe every time her opponent tries to submit. Final seconds of the round. Good round. Stop. Breath in for me. All right, 
listen, I need you to go out there and I want you to do more of that. Let's set up those takedowns with your strike. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. Ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Oh, nice display of technique by her there. Nice straight. Well, she lands another strike to the body here, and the percentage is getting high now in terms of the body strikes landed. Didn't see a lot of that earlier on, making up for lost time here. Oh, that's a heavy kick downstairs. between the two athletes. Well, how urgent is this fighter down the stretch? She is really lighting her up now. She found her range in the middle of this fight, and she is making up for lost time. Oh, big knee to the body, going alive. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. And that one certainly found the target. All right, so you see some welting now on the thigh a little bit as she continues to attack that area effectively. It's a big part of the leg, so it takes a little longer to really start to see the effects of what you're doing. Right now, she's landing, but down the line, boy. If she stays the course, it'll pay dividends. She got that single collar tie. Another takedown land. Here, DC. Where does she go from here? She needs to be passing right away, passing, trying to pass to get this ground and pound off. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Norma Dumont gets back up. Man, she is just relentless. Unbelievable. And plenty of time with which to work. 30 seconds to go in the round. Takedown defense holds up. Short uppercut in the clinch by Dumont. Oh, high amplitude head kick. Wow. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Well, her eye is really in trouble now, and you know the opposition's gonna continue to target it. We'll see what they can do with these 60 seconds. There's nothing better than seeing the damage on your opponent's face. And if she couldn't defend before, she's gonna have to be real good on the defensive side this time, because now her opponent would be even more aggressive seeing the damage on her face. You ready to fight? You ready? Go. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Oh, she just continues to land a high volume of strikes here, really just like she did in the previous round, and she does not seem to be slowing down at all. She's on point tonight, blocking that punch. Heavy level landed on both sides in that exchange. Now a takedown attempt. It is not there, and not a tumble either. So why has she not addressed that thigh pain? Does she not feel that? I mean, it looks pretty bad at this point. Well, early, it doesn't feel like it's very damaging. But right now, as they add up, 
it really starts to hurt. It really starts to limit you. And right now, she has to address it because we're getting very close to that time where there's no turning back. Oh, nice takedown defense. What a beautiful high kick that came out. Immediately gets the under hook. She gains separation, breaks that clinch position. Real quick leg kick. Under three minutes here to go in the round. Well, this is one of the more active rounds we have seen all night long. Both of these women have realized success with the striking, and both seem damaged. It's always fun when you get a fight like this, where you see the blood on both sides, where you see the swelling on both sides, where you see the concern from both fighters recognizing that, wow, I've got my equal in front of me. Let's see who can push through and get the victory. Oh, look at the inside leg kick. She grounds her opponent now. She hurt her very badly with that big leg kick. Oh, beautiful level change. Well, that left hand has been there for her tonight, not on that attempt. Oh, she continues to pour it on. She is landing at will, eternally aggressive with her striking. And she also has a pretty good gas tank, so she doesn't appear to be worried about that. Well, you know about the offense, but how about the defense? Overhand blocked by Jamal. And there it is again. Every time she thinks about engaging offensively, it seems like she eats another five kick. She eats another kick. I mean, her opponent has figured it out. Has figured out the weakness in her game. And she's taking full advantage of it. Big punch lands through the middle. Right here, you gotta empty the gas tank, John. You gotta just go forward and let everything fly. Under 20 seconds now to go. Oh, Lance. There's another one. Oh. 20 minutes in the oh. can, five to go. Well, at some point, she's going to have to shore things up defensively. Let us get you some replays and show you some strikes that led to all that damage. Just beautiful striking on display. But it's easy to look like this whenever your opponent just refuses to move their head. She was able to land and land at will. And now you see all that swelling on her opponent's face. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go. Fifth and final round. Shot to the body connects there, beautifully placed right underneath the elbow. She didn't really throw a lot of body shots overall in the fight, but in the latter stages, smart to work the body. She lands a sidekick. Dumont going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. All right, I'm going to put you in this fighter's shoes, okay? She is clearly losing this. 13 steps in! Oh, my goodness! What a fight! Well, there is going to be no denying her now. A huge TKO result here tonight, and this crowd is letting her know. John, you know how much I love to talk, and I'm sitting here almost speechless because this young lady looked Amazing. She said she was going to get a finish, and that's exactly what she did. Wow.
All right, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer to wrap it with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at two minutes, 26 seconds of round number five. You're playing the winner by TKO, Norma, the Immortal Dumont. All right, there she is. Big win by TKO tonight. And really, everything she said to us in our fighter meeting on Thursday came to fruition here on Fight. Oh, yeah, she made it happen. She willed it into existence. Anyone that would listen to her, she told them, I am going to finish this fight by TKO. She got that exact finish tonight. Exactly what she wanted. She got it done.